much you can do. Be who you were meant to be. Peaceful warriors, wellness. Feel better, move better, be better. Peaceful warriors. Hi, good morning everybody. My name is Scott Roberts and my wife and I own Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center here in downtown St. Petersburg where we help people feel better, move better, and be better at everything you do through therapeutic massage, corrective exercise, stretching, and reflexology uh, to name a few. Uh, welcome. Today is Monday the 25th of January. January is almost over already. Uh, seems like the year is moving along at a pretty good clip. So, uh, Let's do our best to continue keeping our commitments to ourselves and drinking lots of water, moving and exercising, stretching, taking good care of ourselves and our body, setting it up for success, building your immune system, and just really improving the quality of life that everybody has. So that's, uh, that's my mission, that's my goal, that's what I do, and uh, I love doing it in many different aspects. So grab yourself a rope, a strap, a belt, uh, something that you can use to help leverage the length of your legs and your stretches and to help assist with your arms and things of that nature. Um, the stretch out strap, in my opinion, is a great tool. You can buy it from optp.com or you can buy it here in the office if you're local. And uh, it'll really assist you and make it easier for you uh, to do these stretches. So let's go ahead and start by reaching up overhead. We're reaching for the ceiling or sky. And, and notice I said reach. Don't just lift your arms. Actively reach and stretch out the spine. <sighs> Come up onto your toes if you'd like. Reach a little bit further. Helps activate the entire spine and the muscles along it to reach. All right, bring your heels down to the floor. A little bit more in shoulder width apart. Let's lean to the left. Left hand side bend. And let's go ahead and do a right hand side bend. Good, bring your arms down to shoulder height, rotate the spine, reach to your left as far as you can. Let's go ahead and rotate that body all the way around to the right. Back and forth. Good, now we're gonna open up the shoulders. Grab the end of one end of your strap here. Reach overhead. You want the strap to come down behind you between your shoulder blades and as you reach down with your right hand when you get to the bottom, you're gonna use the str strap to assist. Remember to exhale as you stretch. Now I'm gonna reverse it. We're gonna bring the right hand down to your belt line, your waistline. Strap goes over your right, left shoulder, excuse me. Reach with your right hand up between those shoulder blades. Use the strap to assist. Reset, easing into and out of each of your stretches. Good, now the right arm's gonna come up. Your elbow's at shoulder height and bent at 90 degrees. And we're going to rotate our arm. So the elbow's gonna stay stationary we're gonna reach back behind us with that right hand as far as we can and use the left hand with a strap to assist. Take the rounding out of those shoulders. All right, left arm, same thing, up overhead. Reaching behind you with the right hand, assisting as you reach down between your shoulder blades.
Left hand down to the belt line, strap over the right shoulder, reaching up with that left hand. Elbow up, 90 degrees, rotating. Same thing we did on the right side. Rotate that shoulder, assist with a strap. Good, go ahead and drape the strap around the back of your neck. Find yourself a spot on the wall and you wanna put your palm flat on the wall with your fingers pointing behind you. Step forward with your left, hand, left foot, excuse me, can't step forward with your left hand very well, can you? <laughs> All right, rotate your chest away from the wall. You wanna feel the stretch across the front of the chest and the shoulder easing into and out of the stretch. You wanna hold it for about two seconds. As you can see, we're doing that with each of our stretches and movements. Let's switch sides, plant your left hand on the wall, step forward with your right, rotate. Good. All right, now we're gonna do some head and neck movement. So let's go ahead and turn our head to the left as far as you can. Use your left hand on your right temple and your right hand behind your left ear. Assist. You're not using your hands to turn your head. Turn your head and then use your hands to assist at the end. To the right. Tilt your head to the right, right ear to the right shoulder, and just the weight of your right hand above your left ear will be plenty. And to the left. Let's go ahead and come on down to the ground. This is where the strap really comes in very handy to help with your legs. If you have a rope or, or something like that, you're gonna take the strap around the ball of your foot and you'll have two ends of your rope to manage. If you have a strap like this or a belt that you can cinch, then you just take the loose end of it over the ball of the foot. All right, straighten out the right leg. And we're gonna keep that leg straight as we lift it towards the right shoulder. Take the strap around the inside of the ankle and underneath your calf. Now we're gonna lift our leg towards the nose instead of the shoulder, towards the nose. You're doing great. All right, let's take out the strap and then go underneath the uh, calf from the outside of the ankle. So go around the outside and under again. Now, you'll notice I'm only doing three repetitions of these stretches. There will be stretches that you'll feel that you need to do more of that will help you increase your range of motion. We're gonna move our leg towards the opposite shoulder this time. So right leg to the opposite, to the left shoulder. Any of these exercises or stretches that you need to focus on more for you and your body, you'll want to do more of later. All right, straighten out both legs. Leave the strap exactly where it's at, around the outside of the ankle and under the calf. We're going to lift the right leg above and scissor across the top of the left leg, keeping it straight, keeping your hips flat on the floor. So lift scissor and then assist with the strap.
It's going to be three different angles, just above the leg. Now we're going to go up to 45 degrees, or as close to that as you can. These stretches you're going to feel on the outside of the right hip. Bringing that leg up to 90 degrees and scissor across. If you can't get to 90, just be as close as you can. Sorry about that. I had something in my eye itching it. All right, we're going to take the strap out. We're going to go around the inside of the ankle and under the calf again. This time we're going to pull that right leg out to the right as far as we can. It's kind of like a half of a split. Here we go. Notice that I'm using my right hand out here to the side as far as I can reach, not up here next to my chest. Okay, it's a different pull. It'll create a different stretch for you. All right, go ahead and bend your knees. Take your right ankle onto your left knee. We're gonna undo the strap for a moment. Use your right hand behind your knee and pull that as close to your chest as you can. And with your left hand, grab a hold of your shin and pull that right foot closer to your left shoulder. Hold it for a couple seconds and then release it. And then repeat. Great. Left foot, same as the right. Strap goes around the ball. And let's straighten that leg out. Left leg straight towards the left shoulder. Here we go. Around the inside of the ankle, towards the nose. Around the outside of the ankle. And these stretches could be done more quickly and with more reps, I'm just going through them slowly so that nobody gets lost. So around the outside of the ankle, now we're gonna bring that straight leg towards the right shoulder. Left leg to the right shoulder. If I were doing these by myself, again, I would not have as much time explaining in between. I would do more reps and we'll get through them, okay? So now we're going to take the strap, straighten out your legs, the strap stays where it's at, around the outside of the ankle. Lift your leg and scissor across. I never know any given morning if there's going to be somebody that has never done these with me before. So I go through them each and every time. Left leg to 45 degrees, keeping it straight. Scissoring across, make sure your hips stay on the floor. Don't let them roll. Up to 90 degrees or as close to 90 as you can get. And scissor across.
strap comes out and around the inside of the ankle and under. Now we're gonna do half of a split. Left leg's gonna go out to the left as far as possible. Left hand goes all the way out as well. Definitely take your left ankle onto your right knee. You can set the strap aside. Because we're done with that, let's go ahead and pull that knee close to your chest. With your right hand on your shin, pull that left foot towards the right shoulder. Rotating the hip. You're gonna feel this deep in your glutes. Good. Let's go ahead and roll over to our hands and knees. Come on up. Hey, good morning. Good, how are you? Another beautiful Monday, a little foggy out there though. Yep. I'm 67. <laughs> you have a great morning. All right, so you're gonna come up onto your left knee, your right foot's out in front of you, and you're gonna push your hips forward. Give myself just a little bit more room in these pants. There we go. Make sure you keep your chest up. You can use your hands on your knee if that helps you a little bit. You're gonna ease into and then out of the stretch. You're kind of sinking your hips down a little bit into this as you push forward. And wherever you're at with that movement is okay. All right, let's switch knees. Push forward. Busy morning upstairs today. All right, that's gonna complete our stretching session. Now we're gonna go ahead and engage in some exercises. We do have another one of our prestigious lawyers upstairs getting ready to come in. All right, the first exercise we're gonna do is the dying bug. So you wanna lift your hips, create a little bit of space underneath your lower back, between the lower back and the mat or floor that you're on. We're gonna go ahead and let him walk in first. So give me just a moment. Good morning, Jordan, how are you? Um, the other lawyer, uh, the civil lawyer went upstairs. Oh, Vince is here. Vince is here, yep. Other than that, there's a young lady that went up there. Oh, sweet. Wow. All right. Dying bug. Okay, so you're going to lift your arms towards the ceiling, legs up off the floor. Let's create some movement back and forth. This is a great core exercise. It's relatively simple. You can make it harder by reaching further. Really focus on making sure that space underneath your lower back is there. That's one of the keys to this is creating that core stability. You're lifting your spine towards your belly button actively here in your core, okay? So at any point in time, you can set your legs down, take a couple deep breaths, come right back to it. The more often, more consistently that you do this, the easier it will get the more stable your core will be, the less back pain you'll have, the more you'll be able to do. <sighs> All right, so that's the dime bug. Feel free to do as many as you can, as long as you can. And then there's also regression. So if for whatever reason, that's creating a lot of pain in your lower back, and there will be some of you out there that that's the case. Really focus on just doing heel taps either double leg or single leg. Okay, and again, focusing on the core, the belly, pulling that spine away from the floor just a little bit towards the belly button as you're doing those movements, okay? The next thing we're gonna focus on is your glutes, strengthening your glutes. Put your heels down, your feet flat on the floor, 
right about shoulder width apart. Lift your hips towards the ceiling and hold it. That's called a bridge. You can do repetitions and do hip presses instead. Either or are great to help strengthen your glutes and create stability in your hips. Again, with the intention of taking pressure off of the lower spine and the nerves that come out of there, the discs that might be under a lot of pressure, okay? So either way, bridge or press, either option will create the same results. Last exercise that we're gonna do, well, actually not quite the last, maybe next to last, is gonna be the belly angel, okay? Go ahead and come on down to your belly. And you're going to flex your, hip, your back so that your neck, your, you know, your head, your chest, and your arms come up off the floor. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale and lift. Hold it for a couple seconds. Slowly release back down to the floor. And let's do a couple more of those. That is a great exercise for those people that are spending too much time seated at the desk or driving their car and your shoulders are curving in, your upper back is curving in, your head's forward. That is a great exercise against gravity that will help comp uh, correct that, okay? The next exercise we're gonna do is a, is a plank and you can do a full plank or a modified plank. All right, so bring your elbows up underneath your shoulders. Lift your hips up off the ground just enough to create a straight line from the back of your knees to the back of your head. That's a modified plank. You wanna feel a little bit of that quiver in your belly and you'll know that you're holding it and strengthening those core muscles, those deep core muscles that really need it. A full plank will be up on your toes. And in a plank, you want to squeeze as many of the muscles in your body as you can. So your thighs are front and back, your calves, your glutes, your core. Good. All right. So that helps uh, with a lot of different things. If you will engage in those stretches and in those exercises, it'll help correct most of the common problems that people have. Lower back pain head, neck, and shoulder issues. Okay, so really, really commit to yourself. I'm here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 8.30 in the morning for the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better movement session. I hope you'll be here on Wednesday to join me. Have a great week until then.